It was February of last year that Karen Carpenter died of heart failure that's believed to have been related to her problem, anorexia nervosa. But there is an album out, a beautiful album, by the Carpenters, which is entitled Voice of the Heart. And Karen's brother Richard put this album together after his sister was gone, and uh, it's something that uh, her many, many fans around the world are really delighted to, to have. You, had to, you, do, you did this with tapes that you had, which the two of you had made before she died, and then you went into the studio and completed the album. And completed it, right. What We're, did you have to do? Was it, was it tough to finish, or was it mostly Well, together? emotionally, it was tough, of course. Uh, we work with 24-track uh, recording. Mm -hmm. We start each of our projects by uh, doing the basic track, usually bass, piano, drums, guitar, and Karen's leads. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we build. So uh, with the exception of one tune on the album that uh, was just about complete, uh, uh, the rest did need to. Mm -hmm to have the uh, orchestra put on the background vocals, additional instruments. Yeah, you know. it must have been quite a while before you could bring yourself to go in and, and listen to her voice and work with it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was about, uh, about a month. And uh, I did give it a great deal of thought, but uh, we got, obviously, a, an enormous response worldwide mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, to Karen's passing. And uh, so many people were writing uh, about many things, of course, but uh, one recurring uh, request uh, was uh, if there were any pieces remaining, please complete, please release. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know Karen would have wanted it. So uh, did in, it in a way, you? it got me through a... Did it help you to have this to do? Uh, in a way, it did. On? As I had mentioned, of course, uh, emotionally, it, it was draining, it uh, was taxing at times, but uh, knowing that Karen would have wanted it, knowing that uh, her voice would be heard uh, on these uh, particular tunes uh, kind of really uh, helped pull me through a very, very mm -hmm. difficult period. It was a shock to, to you, I know, and to the rest of the world as well, because people knew, you knew, that Karen had anorexia, but everybody, I think, sort of assumed that she had conquered the problem. She felt that she was, that she was doing well. Mm -hmm. And the heart failure was a surprise, a terrible surprise. Oh, to us all, yeah. yeah. How does that work? Is it just the constant drain on the body of being thin for so many years that taxes the heart? Do you know how those Well, I don't think anyone really knows for sure, but uh, many theories, of course, have been advanced, and the one that seems to uh, hold the most water, so to speak, is that Karen had been dealing with a certain amount of weight for a certain amount of years, mm -hmm. and near the end of her therapy, um, uh, Karen was hospitalized and 30 pounds were put on her mm -hmm. and that after so many years the heart was having a, a difficult time mm -hmm. really dealing with that. Yeah. Have you had uh, correspondence with the families of other people who have anorexia nervosa? Oh yeah. Yeah, we of course have gotten many, many letters mm -hmm. uh, from people who feel that they have it or know that they have it. Have you been able to offer any any words of wisdom to them? Well, there's only so much that uh, my family and I can say. I mean, it's, it's out of our bailiwick, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, we can only go with common sense, which is to, uh, to seek a, a qualified therapist and uh, definitely um, have that in conjunction with a, a medical help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, people believe at this point in time that it is a psychological disorder, but it does play hell with the body. Yeah. And so uh, an MD, an internist, what have you, should uh, definitely be along quite a bit. How's the rest of your family handling the release of the album? Does it, does it help for them? to hear her voice again? Uh, You've worked with it, but yes, what about mother and dad? Yes. And well, mom and dad are, are big fans, of course, and uh, obviously it, it's been extremely rough on them, mm -hmm. Karen's passing, but uh, in a way, uh, listening to her voice, listening to the music, uh, really, I think, does them a world of good. What are you going to do next? You have toured the world on behalf of the album and to talk about your sister. And that's almost over. Yeah, well, I'm going to continue uh, songwriting. I've uh, been doing that for many a year and uh, working a solo project, uh, 
uh, work in a production capacity and do some touring as a solo pianist. So I'll have uh, enough to keep me busy. It's never going to be quite the same as working with Karen. No, unfortunately, of but uh, I do want to continue. And you're going to be uh, you're going to be giving some solo concerts. Yeah, with orchestra and rhythm section. That should be wonderful. That should be wonderful. As I explained, I, I couldn't listen to the album because uh, the house is all torn up and the stereo set is covered with with uh, plastic and stuff, but I'm um, looking forward to hearing it. She had a wonderful voice. She certainly did. Karen yes, certainly did. did, and I think you will enjoy it a great deal. I expect to. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Anne. So much. Mm -hmm. All right. The album is entitled Voice of the Heart, and it has been released, has it not? Yes. It's out? Yes. Okay. Next up, Campus Fashions to get ready for the big USC-UCLA game on this weekend.